Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news and wrestling discussions. I am, of course, your host, Alexis Carrillo, and let's get into some wrestling talk. But, just like last night's video, there are times, hopefully, the charm, because as you can see, as you were able to see from last night's video, I still have some lighting issues to figure out. Ever since changing the setup around here in terms of uh, me uh, producing these videos, hopefully this is a little bit better. And over the weekend, I will be, uh, you know, uh, shopping, for lack of a better term, for uh, any type of lighting that actually helps me and allows me to look at the camera and not be staring at a light, which I'm certain you can tell that I am right now. So with that said, let's get into the wrestling news, and it was announced that uh, Chris Jericho would be defending the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. He will be a part of the very first title defense on pay-per-view on November 9th in Baltimore, Maryland, Maryland, for AEW's Full Gear pay-per-view. Now, I do understand that uh, uh, title defense has been announced for the third week of AEW's weekly show on TNT, but I firmly believe that Chris Jericho's title reign is not in any kind of jeopardy for that for that title defense, and you know I don't think that uh, they're gonna be hot potatoing, hot playing hot potato. That's a much better way of putting it, playing hot potato with the AEW World Title. So even though his opponent for Full Gear has already been announced. I believe and I still think that the right thing to do is to have Chris Jericho remain world champion. So with that said, who's going to be Chris Jericho's first pay-per-view opponent? The man who's already guaranteed his spot at full gear on November 9th, whether he faces Y2J or anybody else for the AEW, 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 AEW World Championship is yet to be decided, but that man is the man formerly known as Stardust. That's right, Cody himself. Cody obviously coming off from that big win at All Out over Sean Spears. So, uh, you know, AEW right off the bat uh, trying to cater to the mainstream audience, as they should, because like I said, like I've said in the past, in past videos, they have the hardcore wrestling audience in the bag. Every single hardcore wrestling fan out there is going to be tuning in to the weekly AEW shows to watch what happens and most of them, if not all of them, are going to be purchasing the pay-per-view events in the near future in support of this alternative wrestling brand to WWE. That's going to be happening. That's a given. What AEW needs to do is to cater to the mainstream audience, build their, audi build their audience, build their viewership, and that makes them more money. So obviously they're going to go with two very established names in the main event for the world title with Cody and Chris Jericho. Not to mention that we're going to get the match that we did not get at All Out due to, again, un unfortunate circumstances between John Moxley and Kenny Omega. So Full Gear already uh, looking to be, you know, one of the biggest pay-per-view events in AEW as of right now. Like I said, they have to continue this string of great shows, string of great cards. But eventually, they're going to have to, you know, prove themselves on a week-to-week -week basis and try to uh, make us tune in every single week rather than every single uh, month, month and a half, two months, like they've been doing since they were founded earlier this year. So what do you think about this, these news about Cody being announced as Chris Jericho's or whoever ends up being world champion on November 9th as their first opponent? Do you think maybe that should have gone to someone else? Like uh, maybe Hangman Page should have gotten a rematch? Maybe an MJF? I don't know. Leave your thoughts and comments on the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. That's it for me. Till next time.